Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Camelia Akami Keys, and today we are gonna talk about how to cross stick. Okay, how to get a nice clave, wood blocky cross stick sound on your snare drum. Um, it's very important, especially if you're playing something really low volume and a nice like chill vibe. We're gonna talk about a few different ways to get a nice craw stick sound. Let's dive into it. All right, so when you're holding your stick, um, sometimes I play cross stick just like I'm playing match. I'll put my, move my hands up a little bit on the stick, thumb and index finger, so with the cross stick, it's really important to keep the index finger out of the way when you're moving it up and down to the head of the snare drum. So we're really gonna dive into what I'm doing when I, you see me doing all that crazy stuff, right? Crazy rim stuff. Thumb and index finger is the, that's what's pinching the stick, okay? And I'm lifting and I'm keeping my palm my three fingers are coming up with the rest of my, my hand. My palm is staying, my palm is staying there and then I'm dropping. So the pinch is the most important thing. Some people play like this and they like have their whole fingers like curled in. For me, I could get the best if it was really relaxed, thumb, index finger, just kind of easily grabbing it. And that was kind of what, what was working for me. And even if I'm doing stuff like this, like all four fingers are off. But uh, that soft pinch here, thumb and index finger. You want to make it easy for yourself to be able to transition back and forth between this grip and this grip. So it's like letting those three fingers go and then getting that stick right down on the snare drum. So as you can see, I'm using my right hands to demonstrate how the cross stick looks when my index finger and my thumb are lifting um, to, to get a nice wood block clave cross stick sound. The tip of your um, left stick is gonna be maybe, let's see, what is this, maybe about an inch away from the uh, rim, okay? And you have to kind of, you have to kind of move around and see where it sounds best, okay? So that's the sound. That's the that's the sound that we're we're going for. If you see, if I move it too far back, it's kind of a dead sound. If I move it too far forward, so you want to get it just right, where you're able to get a nice clave. Uh, rim sound. With my cross stick technique, I like to do a lot of stuff with the rim. When you're doing a cross stick, you want to make sure you can get enough sound out of your stick. So as you can see, I'm lifting the stick, but I'm trying to maintain contact with the, uh, the snare drum. There are techniques that you lift your entire hand in order to get like a um, in between, like a almost like a tom sound. So um, yeah, there we'll get into that one coming up in a little bit. So as you can see, I'm I'm hitting the stick, and um, now I'm lifting my hand to get a like a conga sound or a, a tom sound in between. So a lot of my technique kind of stems from um, trying to do rudiments while I'm still doing the cross stick. And uh, a lot of stuff I play is inspired by uh, salsa, Afro-Cuban, and Afrobeat type of music. So I'm trying to do that all in one drum, and that is the result of what you're seeing there. Back and forth between the tom, between the snare and the rim, and I have my snares off, and that's kind of helping get a lot of different tones out of the snare drum. So I'm sure many of you are interested in how I'm getting um, 
so many tones so quickly. And I practiced this pretty slow for a while before I could um, speed it up and start adding a lot more uh, complex rhythms to the basic foundation. Um, the basic foundation is just having a nice um, clave cross stick sound. And once you get that, then you can really just explore from there. So I'm gonna help you all dive into how to get a nice advanced sounding cross stick sound. So this is what it looks like slowed down. So I have to maintain a pretty good dynamic, um, a very soft cross stick to be able to um, quickly come back with the next hit. So I'm not lifting much. Everything is very small, very um, precise movements in order to make the sound as clean as possible. It's very important to have the technique that you need to play. So it kind of looks like this, okay, thumb and index finger, and then when I drop it, this is what I'm using to hold the stick, right? And then I drop it down, I got my palm resting, my palm is going to mute the snare a little bit, and uh, the stick's going to stay, it's not going to move, you're going to lift up and drop. So I think this is pretty easy, um, and I've watched various different techniques from different drummers who, you know, use, utilize cross stick. And uh, I have to say, a lot of my students have had issues with this, like leaving their palm connected, not raising the stick off the drum, uh, keeping your three fingers kind of just hanging and using them to to kind of rest on the snare. Uh, it's somewhat of a challenge. So it's just going to take some time. It's like your hand just has to rest there. Thumb, index finger are what, those are the two fingers that are gonna lift. Those are what are gonna lift the, the stick. I'm gonna bring it back down. So we can do a little exercise. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. So we're doing quarter notes, and then we're doing eighth notes. One, and two, and three. And we're trying to utilize some dynamics. Loud, 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 loud. Soft, 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 soft. Loud is also known as forte. So forte, 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 pianissimo, 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 pianissimo. Pianissimo is quiet or soft. Okay, so um, yeah, this is a good way to kind of start getting into the habit of, you know, not always having to play super loud, even if you're doing acrostic, but being able to do a cross stick really, really quietly. here is I call it the lift, the full lift. So you gotta boom, boom. So you lift. And it's a cool way to get a nice uh, groove without utilizing a, a tom. so much for watching. My name is Camelia Kami Keys. God bless. So maybe some of you have noticed the cool Soundbrenner metronome watch I'm wearing. Um, I really love it and I'm happy enough to be able to share a discount code with you guys if you're interested in getting it. 
Um, the discount code is Akami and you get 20% off. So it's Akami 20. So definitely go check out this awesome watch. Um, it's really helped me keep in time and stay consistent in my playing. Hi, my name is Camelia Akami Keys, and I'm playing the Tama Star Babinga drum set. This drum kit sounds amazing, it looks amazing. It was handmade in Japan, and it really just sets itself apart from any other drum set on the market. Toms speak so well. These drums have uh, expression, they have voice. There is personality to this kit. Music is the universal language, and I quickly learned that while I was serving in the United States Navy. We could not speak the same language, but put a smile on someone's face by playing the drums. I make music to spread joy.